In this video today, we're going to be talking about snapshots. I had a customer contact me regarding a problem that they were having with SRM. So I went into Site Recovery Manager here, and you'll see that in this protection group, we have numerous VMs, and all of them are marked with OK, other than this one VM right here. So we simply right click on this guy, configure protection, and you'll see that the hard disks are replicated to the DR site and we click OK. And you'll see it comes in not configured, connection to the remote servers down, which I know is not true. So let's go check some things out. A typical common problem for this is snapshots. So we'll go in here and we'll look at host and clusters, and we'll look at this VM right here. We'll look at snapshot manager, and you'll see that this VM doesn't show any snapshots. Now just because it doesn't show up in Snapshot Manager does not mean it does not have any snapshots. VMware added a new thing under the snapshot here called Consolidate. Now I'm not going to click on this right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here and click on the data store and right click and browse the data store and open up a data store browser. Now, you'll see I navigated to this VM here. You'll see all the typical virtual machine files like the VMX, uh, the VMSD, which is relates to snapshot. And then look at all of these files down here. And you'll see I'm scrolling through here very quick. And there's a ton of files. This thing definitely has snapshots. Now let's look over here at what's scary. Today is currently May 6, 2013. Look at the dates on some of these. These are from July 8, 2012. Here we go back to May, well, all the way back to April 2012 on some of these, and, and shoot, back to February 2012. So you're talking about they have over a year of snapshots on this virtual machine. Uh, this virtual machine happens to be a SQL 2008 server. So they're getting poor performance. We don't have the capability to do um, SRM. So we're having some serious issues with this particular customer that we need to fix. Now, you can only do 64 snapshots through Snapshot Manager. However, if you're programmatically doing snapshots, in this case through their, their SAN, their NetApp, you'll see that they have 115 different snapshots on this VM. So several different things. And, and look at the size of these over here. We have a 6 gig snapshot, an 8 gig snapshot, a gig, gig and a half. And what's going to have to happen if we were to consolidate these is we would have to right click on the VM in host and clusters, snapshot, consolidate. It's going to have to compare the original hard disk with each one of these snapshots and then apply the existing change to the database. Um, it's going to take a while for that to occur days for that to occur, may, maybe even weeks. It's going to take a long time for that to happen while people are using a year and a half of changes to a production SQL server. In this particular case here, what are our other options? Well, we could clone the VM and create a brand new one that doesn't have all those snapshots. We could use something like VMware Converter, which would be able to create a new VM from there. Or we could go into SQL, back up the databases to an off-site location, or at least off the VM location, and then try to consolidate. Uh, which one works? They all work. Um, just need to get with your customer and find out which one works best for them. This particular customer, I think what they're going to do is uh, back up the databases and then do a consolidate. But uh, honestly, it's up to them. In this particular case, too, you'll see 115 snapshots. Well, I thought you could only create 64. You can only create 64 through Snapshot Manager. If you go through the uh, programmatic way of creating them through, in this case, backups using Snap Manager or a snap drive, excuse me, or snap manager for SQL, it created these backups through the NetApp device on the back end. And you'll see that's why we have 115 of them. So what a mess. Unfortunately, this is fairly common in companies. And